I don't wanna let you down It's the only thing I think about every morning You know my life Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Let's just point out the obvious. We got some new hair. I'm blonde again. <laughs> um, basically today I want to show you guys a full-on comprehensive guide to a few pairs of denim that I absolutely love, their pros and cons, where to buy them, etc, etc. Specifically, denim shorts. Like many people, I'm sure that a lot of you have been on a quest to search for the perfect denim pair of shorts, so I want to bring a few options for you guys here. I'm also going to link everything in the description box below. There are a couple thrifted pairs here, which as you guys know, isn't like the most easy thing to find, but if you guys want a comprehensive like guide on how I actually thrift denim and shorts and all that fun stuff, Stuff and how I managed to see the potential in certain pieces of denim let me know because I think that would be a fun video to do and I'm actually starting to venture back out into the world of thrifting again um, now that things are a little bit more relaxed where I live one thing I really want to say about denim shorts is that I think a lot of people especially as you get older you're kind of like oh my god like I don't want to wear shorts I feel so weird with my legs exposed <laughs> like this after like a harsh winter and all that and it's like it's hard to find a pair of shorts that you honestly feel really Really good in no matter what body type that you have one thing I just want to say is don't let that shit stop you everyone should be wearing shorts in hot weather if you want to no matter if I was like a hundred pounds or the weight I am now I have always had cellulite on the back of my thighs from like a young adult age so it's just something that you know is part of my body embrace it and yeah just um that's all I got to say about it. I know a lot of people are just super apprehensive or feel like they should only be wearing one type of short because of their body type and I just like, I fully just don't believe in that. Wear what makes you feel good. With that being said, let's just get into the video. So the first pair of shorts that I have are your good old Levi 501s. These are new Levi's, not vintage Levi's, which means that you can buy them online. So for reference, I wear 25, 26 normally. But in shorts, I notice that sizing is super inconsistent depending on the way your thighs are or their waist is, et cetera, et cetera. So I got these actually in a size 28. So this is the type of pair I would say to absolutely size up in. Um, they say they have a relaxed fit on your thighs and your waist, which they definitely do. The waist is a little bit large on me, but to be honest, I prefer my shorts always a size or two up. So the fact that I went three full sizes up um, says a lot. Um, yeah, this is just like a regular mid wash. You guys know the drill. Levi's are always really great quality um, No matter if you buy them vintage or new so I want to definitely give you guys this option I purchased these for $80 Canadian, which is about like 60 bucks US So I would definitely say they're on the more expensive side moving on to probably the most expensive pair of shorts I have here. These are my a Goldie Jaden shorts. So when I went into Aritzia last year I was actually intending on buying the Parker shorts and I think the girl thought that these were the Parker shorts. I tried them on, loved them, thought I had the Parker shorts for about like two months before I realized these were actually the Jadens. So the Jadens are shorter than the Parkers. The waist is higher. Um, it's definitely more cinched in than the Parkers. The Parkers have a more like straight feel. These are definitely um, like a really, really cinched in, like snatched waist type of vibe. These are so expensive, guys. I think these were $183 Canadian. I cannot even believe I bought them. Like that is so expensive for a pair of shorts. You definitely do not have to go this hard. That being said, these are actually my most worn pair of shorts. Like I love the amount of distressing. I think that they're so perfect, like just so perfectly in at the waist. Um, these do size a little bit small. I sized up one. So this is a size 27 actually. And to be honest, I feel like they fit like a size 25 of their regular jeans. I have like a couple pairs of jeans from a Goldie that are size 25, but for some reason I had to size up in the shorts. I don't really get it. These make your butt look really good. Your hips look great. Like I think this just gives you that like hourglass figure. They aren't stretchy. Um, they're definitely a more rigid denim. Okay, so we have a pair from Girlfriend here. This is a pair that was gifted to me by Revolve in like the beginning of quarantine. Girlfriend is their in-house denim line. So I did not size up in these. I got these in a size 26. These are the Helena short. And if you look at them on the model, I'm gonna pop it up over here. She is very, very like, she's a very slender figure and she has very, very skinny legs. So like these kind of like hang on her in all the right places. And I thought that they looked really great. On me, they definitely have a different look. So if you have a similar body type to me and you're looking at shorts like that online um these look completely different on me they definitely hug around my thighs a little bit if i wanted that similar look that the model had i definitely would have to size up at least one or two sizes but these still fit really well like they fit well they're really comfortable 
my butt's not hanging out of them. Um, yeah, they're expensive. That's the other thing. They're really expensive, like comparable to the A Goldie shorts, but they have a bunch of different sizes. They have these in different colors and yeah, they're a good quality pair of shorts. Okay, moving on to something that is a Canadian brand. This is Frank and Oak. Um, I couldn't really look up how sustainable they are, but they do talk about their sustainability practices a lot. In this particular item, I'm not exactly sure, but one thing I do know is that it is made out of 100% organic cotton and they're a Canadian brand. So I think that those are definitely two pros that I would put on this list. Um, these are their Stevie Bermuda short. Long pairs of shorts are like very in right now, and they're definitely a way to add like a more like curvaceous figure to your body if you're like kind of like me and have a little bit more of like a boyish frame I think that something like this obviously makes you just look so snatched and makes your body look so great um, but the butt is really flat on these and like I mean I don't have like a big butt but like they're definitely flattened <laughs> in a pair like this and I don't know if that's just like the Bermuda style in general or if it's just this particular pair but yeah they're definitely not doing anything for the booty i got these in a size 26 so i would say they're definitely more true to size and they're really comfortable they definitely have like a slight bit of stretch in them even though they are like apparently 100% organic cotton. They're still stretch even though there's no like elastic in them. So I have two pairs of thrifted denim. Um, I'm gonna show the last one at the end, mainly because it's like a little hack I do for oversized thrifted shorts. But the first pair I have here is just my white pair. This is my favorite pair of white denim shorts. Um, they happen to be thrifted, which is like obviously the most sustainable route to go. Even if you have a pair of jeans that you wanna turn into shorts, I have tons of tutorials on those. So I'm gonna link that in the description box below, but that's obviously the most like environmentally friendly way to go just upcycling or thrifting or whatnot and you can find some really great stuff there the only thing is it's kind of sometimes hard to find um, especially if um, you are in the smaller size range and you're looking at men's pants obviously they're going to be a little bit large for you but yeah I could definitely do a full guide on that this is my favorite pair by far that I've ever found I believe I got these in Florida they were actually a Bermuda short style that I managed to cut because they are quite big in like the leg holes I love a good loose fitting pair of denim shorts and these are so so cute also great thing about finding white denim at the thrift store versus like a like a blue denim is that you can bleach these so white into like the desired color you want so i think that these are a really really great option okay and then i also want to show you guys a quick hack um, on how I resize these shorts with like an absolute no so so this is a pair of Levi's denim shorts and I don't honestly know what I was thinking like I like my shorts big but these are like very very big you guys can see like they literally hang off of me so one thing I like to do now and I'm gonna put this on my TikTok as well if I have time I take the button and I loop it over the first belt loop and then I put them shut and for some reason this looks really good they kind of look like those crisscross like a Goldie jeans and I would easily wear them out like this um, I think this is something Thing that you can do if your jeans aren't like super big and super bulky um, in the crotch area and yeah that's what I'm wearing right now and then the last pair I have here this is definitely the one that is the most affordable cons they are fast fashion but they are by garage which is a Canadian company um, they are the garage festival short and I would say that this is by far besides thrifting the most affordable short that you're going to have in here these retail for I believe around 40 bucks and sometimes they go on sale but this is a really, really good alternative for those of you who aren't in the market for an A Goldie short right now because I feel like that these fit very, very similar. Um, these are got in a size three, which is equivalent to a 26. So they're definitely true to size. They have quite a bit of stretch in them. They're also very similar to like a one teaspoon short. So there's that. They nip you at the waist. I probably could have even sized down one and been more like true to size, like a 25 and did a size one. But um, yeah, I really like these. Honestly, they're a really good short. They're really well made considering um, that they're less expensive, but yeah, I think that these are really great. I don't know if I said this, but it's not about how many shorts you have. If you find one really great pair of shorts, you're gonna end up wearing these all summer. I just happen to have a more extensive pair because this is my job, but yeah into these as well. I think they're very flattering. Okay guys, that is the end of my very comprehensive jean short guide. If you guys like these type of videos, I also did one on denim a few months ago, so I'm going to link that in the card somewhere here. But yeah, let me know which pair was your favorite. If you guys have a pair that you guys absolutely are obsessed with that I need to have, also let me know. And if you guys want to see how denim shorts are styled, they're also on my Instagram. So I'm going to go now, but I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and I'll talk to you guys soon.
Bye, everyone. If you stick around and let me get boring, we'll spend nights cheap red wine. Look at flats, even though we can't afford them. I don't wanna.